Hi, I'm Kat. Welcome to Weekly Vlog. So yes, I did just immediately film the outro to the last one and here I am filming the intro to the new one and yeah, welcome to a week in the life, a week a week of the life of Vlogmas and just um, busy, busy times. So I just took a little nap and I'm now running extremely late for a holiday party I'm supposed to be at in an hour and it's like a 40 minute drive so I'm running extremely late and I'm definitely gonna be late for that but I need to go get ready, get my life together. Also, it is a party where we're supposed to make cocktails and I'm just realizing that I didn't get any ingredients so I'm going to run around the house and try to figure out what I can make with what I have here but welcome to the video and let's go get ready. So I really just want to go like extremely simple on the makeup today so I'm just going to use this Patrick Ta face palette for the first time and I used the lighter breath the lighter blush down here on my cheeks and like I'm really liking the color and then I think I'm just going to use one of those like little eye toppers um like just a tiny bit of bronzer in the like the outer parts of my eye and then that and maybe like a pink lip like just something very very easy more lip focused than anything else and then i did get a dyson ear wrap so i'm gonna try to do like a little blowout on my hair maybe a little wavy we will see i'm also like i'm aware that i really need to not take too much time so it's gonna be a quick a quick little look so that was extremely easy i just added a little volume to my hair i didn't really do much else and then my lipstick is executive realness by pat mcgrath so this is just my super super simple party look i need to pick out a perfume for the night and i think i'm just gonna do this one by kim kardashian fragrance which obviously is not available anymore but it's nude soleil and it's like a really strong like santal sandalwood scent and it is indeed my favorite perfume or one of my favorites anything with sandalwood basically is my favorite and then I completely forgot, but since it is December 1st, I get to open my advent calendar and let's take a look. So this year I got the Cult Beauty advent calendar. I got this last year as well and I'm just like, I was so impressed that I decided to do it again. But let's take a look at day one. So this is the Say Beauty Glowy Super Gel. Let's open this up and take a look. So here's the actual component, and then I can't even see it in this lighting, but I did swatch it out, and it's like a really nice little shimmer. I am not sure if this is more of a... I'm not sure if this is more of a liquid highlight or to wear under foundation, but I'm very excited to try it. Say is one of those brands that's been on my list to try more of, so yay! <laughs> I really can't drink like I used to because Saturday I was the biggest mess of my life and that's just from like one night of partying like I cannot I cannot drink like I used to which is so sad to say but it's Sunday morning I'm doing some reading now I'm probably gonna be reading for a few hours and then filming a few videos but I completely forgot to open any of my advent calendars yesterday so let's go do the Nespresso one and see what coffee I'm gonna have for today and also yes I have even less eyebrows than usual because an accident happened with them but yay they look even worse than usual all right here we go let's find day number two which is right here and today we got the altisio which i think is just a single espresso yeah it's just a single espresso uh let's also look at day three though to see what other coffee i'll get today This is the Intenso, which I actually know I don't like, but oh my god, it's so rough to get out. 
but this is a full cup of coffee and if i'm remembering right it's like very very strong so these are my two coffees for the morning Okay, so today my eyeshadow is very, very neutral, but I used, it is the Snow Dream palette by Odin's Eye. One sec, I'll just open it up. So this is like part of their newest holiday release, and it's just like a very neutral, light little palette. And I'm not really sure yet. I'm, it's too, too early to have like any very set opinions on it, but I'm going to be playing with this for the next little bit. And I did also get, so this is a re-release from last year. It is the Christmas Eve palette and the inside of it is like very cool tone blues purples greens very cool very like snowy aesthetic so this is another one that i'm going to be playing with quite a bit upcoming and let's take a look at what i got um yesterday and today in my cult beauty advent calendar because i completely forgot to open it yesterday so here we go day two and this is a roasted chestnuts candle by joe loves so this is um joe malone she created this brand it's like after she sold joe malone she created this one definitely a very nice christmasy scent like kind of not sweet just very yeah very chestnuts is very much a good description of it and then day three is down here and this is the medicaid uh crystal retinol ceramide eye cream okay um i've heard medicaid's a pretty good brand and i'm definitely always excited for a retinol eye cream because that's my favorite to use so there we go days two and three Wednesday I'm about to start getting ready for the day but I thought I'd do my advent calendar unboxing now and also we have a few days to catch up on so first off day four I got the kinship super melt vegan lip jelly mask which I'm actually really excited for because I just finished up one of the lip masks I was using this is just what it looks like seems to have like a bit of a peppermint smell so I'm excited to give that a try and now let's look at days five and six all right day five is over here and we have they are hair gummies so supports healthy healthy hair natural apple and berry flavors so supports healthy hair supports collagen for skin and maintains normal nails i'm good with this i'm excited for that for sure um i wanted to start taking more like hair gummies and seeing if they help me and then today's day six and oh see a huda beauty so this is the oh it's upside down the cheeky tint blush stick so that's exciting so here's the product it's like a very coral color so let's give it a oh that's pretty it's very pinky coral i'm very excited for that so yeah i'm gonna start getting ready now and I'll give you guys a bit of an update of what's been going on the last few days. So there's been like an insane amount of packages just everywhere and I haven't been doing anything about it. So it's kind of started to get a little overwhelming. So I'm doing the absolute bare minimum right now just because I want to just look somewhat more presentable and just do like a few a few little updates um i'm starting to film my goodreads romance video tonight which that is a very very big thing which i'm going over the top 20 goodreads romance 
nominees and it's gonna be like a super chill video just I'm kind of doing it vlog style where I'm planning on just going like a few days in the life and just kind of like casually talking about the books instead of just sitting down talking about them because I, I don't know I hate filming sit down videos I've noticed I find them just like I don't know I find them more boring to watch and also like I really just hate sitting down and talking for like two hours straight so I'm gonna kind of try it out. So I'm expecting that I'll be filming that over like two to three days which is fine because I have I think three more books to read left still from it and then like I don't know like I still have a lot to edit the next few days and like different videos. So I'm just using this Melt Bronzer. It's a light medium contour powder and I find that this like sculpts like so much better than anything else and it's from their um the sculpt stack. Yeah like I find this adds definition to my uh cheekbones like nothing else. And then I can never go without a little nose contour. My latest fave has just been to do a little on the bridge of the nose as well. Let this in a little bit better. I'm going to try this uh, little cheek stick that I got earlier from Huda Beauty. So might be a bit too much, but we'll see. And then, okay, here's a little bra. Okay, that's actually not bad. It uh, blends out pretty nicely, so it doesn't look like too intense on the cheeks, but I'm going to put a little bit more because I am somebody who loves a bright blush. Yeah, that's actually pretty... Okay, that's nice. And now I'll just pick out what I want to do for my eyes, which I've had like so many new palettes come into my life lately. It's kind of crazy like how much new makeup I've been getting. Um, which I guess is just the Black Friday. <laughs> the Black Friday sales, like, they got me this year. Um, I don't even really want to do anything that interesting on the eyes. I think I'm just going to take this uh, Patrick Ta palette. Um, it's his, like, holiday cheek, cheek and eye palette. I think I'm just going to put one of the glitters on and then eyeliner and mascara because today is all about as simple as possible. So I'm just using this, like, little pinky pinky glitter and yeah honestly just something like that is perfect so i'm gonna put on some eyeliner mascara and be right back i've been using the pap graph dark star mascara because i got it in a boxy charm last month which i get in pr by the way but i am insanely impressed and i think this is actually like my new favorite mascara which is dangerous because i think it's like 50 dollars a tube so i don't really want to love this as much as i have been but it's great and i'm just gonna put like a little gloss on i really like this patrick Ta one it's um what's the shade the shade is oh it's the shade um major volume plump that's not a shade uh major volume plumping gloss so this definitely burns a little bit going on because it plumps like crazy but i just love like the really really wet look that it gives on the lips so there's like an insanely insanely quick less than five minute makeup look so last night I went to a hockey game, which was super fun, but I didn't get to bed until like close to midnight, which for me is a major, major no-go. I am somebody who's in bed by like 9 p.m. most nights, so that like really threw off today, I feel like. I feel like it just kind of set today on like a negative tone because I was so tired all day and I haven't really managed to get like nearly as much done as I wanted to today. So that's why like it's 6 p like 6 30 right now and i am just diving into getting things done we're gonna turn around this unproductive day and we are going to make sure we actually do something with it so i like i said i'm just gonna start filming the romance video for goodreads like the goodreads choice awards then i have one video to edit which is i'm actually not sure if i'll get it finished but um i did one where random number or random number generator choose how many hours i read per night and that is like an hour long video so 
I don't know how much of it I'll actually get finished, but hopefully I can edit most of that tonight. And then I do want to do my little walkie walk for the night. So I do try to hit like eight to 10 K steps every night. And that is going to be at some point while I wind down before bed, I'll be trying to do that. So I really don't know if I'll have enough time for all of it, but that'll be the goal. And then I haven't really talked about any of the books I've been reading, but I finished four so far this week. So all of them are specifically like romance books that are nominated for the Goodreads Choice Awards. And that's really been like my focus this week is getting all of these romance books done. So I finished Today Powerless by Elsie Silver, which is book three in her Chestnut Spring series. And it's just like cowboy small town romance series that I am really, really loving. Like really, really pleasantly loving this series because like the small town vibes check, the romance is really nice, like super smutty, love the characters. Like everything about this is just kind of checking for me. But that being said, I think this book, which is book three, was by far my least favorite that I've read so far. It was just kind of okay. It was like um, a friends to lovers like type of thing. Um, between a hockey player and a ballerina and I don't know like I thought I'd like it more but it just it was okay. And what else did I read? I finished Love Theoretically by Ellie Hazelwood. So this is a physicist and she like does this fake dating escort type service and she runs while she's applying for this job. One of the people on the panel is um, the brother of somebody who she was fake dating. So there's like a lot of tension between that. I like that. I like that one. It just wasn't wasn't as good as the other Ali Hazelwood books I've read, unfortunately. Like something about it just wasn't there as much. And like, I really can't nail what it was for me, but just yet I haven't thought too much about it. But yeah, it wasn't, wasn't as good for me as her other ones. And then I read, oh, we have a we have a visitor. Um, I read Pucking Around by Emily Rath, which is a white shoes hockey romance, and this one was amazing. This was one, probably my favorite hockey romance that I've ever read, and I think it's because of the white shoes aspect. Like that, that worked very very well for me. It was like just like a really nice polyamorous relationship and yeah i like that one a lot but it was really weird going to finishing that and then going to a hockey game the same day like it uh i don't know it had a weird like i just kept <laughs> the entire game i was like telling my friend about the book that i read and like all these hockey references i've been reading and it was like well that's all i can think about while i'm watching hockey yeah those have been what i've been reading lately and yeah i'm gonna go start on my work for the night I can't remember. I don't think I've done... Hello. I am once again behind on this. So I opened a six, right? Yes, I did. So now I have seven and eight to do. So let's take a look at seven, which is the Supergoop Unseen Sunscreen. So it's just like a little mini of this. This is definitely not my favorite sunscreen from them, but like still a pretty good one. I just feel like this has like a very silicone-y feel on the skin, but still, still very happy to have it. My favorite from Supergoop for sure is the glow screen though, which like I use literally every day. So this is good. This actually is a good size for travel and stuff too. So not upset about that. And now let's look at day eight, which is up here. So... Okay, what do we have? Okay, it is the Summer Fridays CC Me Serum. So this is a vitamin C serum. I myself am personally not a vitamin C girly, and I've tried this one before and I can't remember what I feel. I don't think I liked it. Like I've literally never found a vitamin C serum that actually did anything for me. So I don't know. I feel like this is going to get passed on to a friend, but there we go. Those are our catch up on this. And hi, I really didn't do much today, but I'm just like here to kind of do a little updates and then finish this off. My skin is super glowy right now because I am drenched in serum. So that's why I look incredibly shiny. But, you know, it's one of those days where it's just like, let us recover, let us do some skin recovery and like pamper because my skin is definitely feeling it lately with this like weather change and I need all the moisture to sink into my body that I can get. 
So I actually have a few little things to haul, some PR, some Black Friday shopping. So let's take a look. So first off, this is from Holo Taco. They released recently, it was like a um, line of products that just like didn't make the final cut, I guess. Um, and this one, it's 50 shades of grayish. So it's just like a holographic grayish purple shade and like these are my favorite these are what i wear all the time so this is the only one i picked up and i am fairly happy at myself for only getting one but kind of regret it now that i see like all of the other shades like on my friend and she ended up picking up a few of them like seeing how all how pretty all the other shades are i'm a little upset that i didn't get those but this is all and then from odin's eye i got two palettes on their black friday sale because i think it was 40 percent off the site plus like 10 percent off uh, using a discount code so i tend to always wait and unless there's like a release that i think is going to sell out i usually buy um odin's eye stuff only on sale like at black friday so first off i got the sea talk palette from lauren my beauty i am a big fan of hers and i've been wanting this one for a while so i'm kind of shocked that i didn't pick it up before now especially because these collab palettes tend to sell out pretty quickly but here we are and there is the inside i'm just gonna take off the reflective thing and here is the inside definitely like a much more neutral palette which yes that is my vibe now i like neutral with like a little pop of color so this is much more of like i will wear this every day probably so I'm very excited to have that. And then the other one I picked up is the Jewels and Gems palette, which came out like quite a while ago. Um, this is the inside. It's just like a cool tone neutral palette. So again, I am a neutral girly now. I just want all my neutral shades and I'm excited to have this. I really, really like the uh, the vibes in it. It thinks, especially swatched out. I think this one's like really, really beautiful. So those are Odin's Eye. And then I got my first PR package from Skin Fix. So they are a skincare company and very excited to see what was included. So first off, there is the Skin Barrier Restoring Gel Cream. So this helps restore, strengthen, balance, and protect the skin barrier. And it is a lightweight nourishing hydrator. Let's see. So this just what it looks like. Oh, I like these. Um, I like skincare when it has this pump. And it says just press one or two pumps into the skin in the morning and at night on face and neck. Apply to clean, dry skin. All right. I always need as much moisture as possible. And then this one is the Barrier Plus um, Triple Lipid Peptide Cream. Improves skin barrier function by 95% in one hour while maintaining long-term hydration. So actually, this sounds like it'd be pretty good as well. Like, again, like anything for hydration, I am so incredibly into it. And yeah, there's just the container again. Same like little pump for skincare, which I love these. Like, it's so nice to not have to like stick your finger into this cream. Um, and then this one, same like apply to face and neck after cleaning. Um, very excited for that. Thank you for Skin Fix. I have finished reading one book, which is A Long Time Coming by Megan Quinn. So this is book three in this like billionaire romance series where you're following like three different brothers. They're all billionaires and they all fall in love and like, you know, just have a romance. <laughs> Crazy. Um, so this one is following the youngest brother who's like the super nerdy guy, but like really like, um, like super nerdy has and it's a best friends to lovers romance for him and his best friend who he's been like not never realized he was in love with until he sees her starting to get married and then like realizes his feelings for her so all the books in these series are like really based off of a rom-com and this one is more based off of um my best friend's wedding i think it's what it's called so he's like the, the man of honor in the wedding and there's all this stuff going on where like the um groom's mother is like hardcore pushing for the wedding to be in five weeks after the engagement and pushing for all these crazy things that the bride doesn't want and he's like really stepping up and trying to help it out help her out help advocate for her and stuff and like overall i think i liked it overall i don't really believe this like he didn't realize he was in love with her until he saw her in a wedding dress and then suddenly like everything in his life changed and everything like all of everything came clear to him and like so when they did end up getting together i felt like he was a bit too pushy about it and like it i don't know i don't really like how that turned out so that one was like 3.5 for me i guess kind of round up to a four and yeah, that's another one done thankfully for my goodreads romance video i only have two more books to read which i'm definitely going to need to do this weekend and then 
hopefully get that video up like as early as possible next week. But yeah, that is pretty much all I have for today. So I'm going to be wrapping up this weekly vlog. And as always, if you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. And hopefully I will see you in the next video. Bye.